That was, I was gonna do an opening skit where I drink hot sauce and it didn't really work out too well. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I haven't done a video where I just kind of update you uh, on, on what's going on for a while, but uh, this one seemed pretty important because I announced a video the other day. Uh, I'm gonna be covering the second Transformers Decepticons DS video, um, the, the Revenge of the Fallen one, this one. It, you know, it's not as good as the first one, but I'm gonna make a video on it because I wanna make a video eventually on every single Transformers DS video game out there because the video on the original one is doing so well to the point where we have hit 13,000 subscribers now. And before I get into the meat of today's video, I want to explain why this character right here, my original motivation for making that old DS game video, has managed to push my channel to 13,000 subscribers. We've been sitting at about 12 or 11,000 for about a year now. My channel's kind of been dead in the water, <laughs> basically. And uh, it's just really cool to have that number go up by one. And I just really appreciate it. And, and, and everyone's kind of talking in the comment section discussing this old nostalgic video game that we all love uh, and apparently played as a kid. I didn't know there was this much of a cult following for it. If I'd known, I would have spoken to you guys sooner, but here we are 21 years later and I'd, I'm only just meeting you now, so hi, hi, how, how's it going? But no, seriously, thank you guys so much. It, it really means the world to me. Um, every time that we hit a new number, every milestone, it's it's amazing. Um, sorry if my speech isn't so good right now. It is currently 4.59, about to be 5 o'clock in the morning. I haven't slept a wink uh, because I've been planning content and um, also doing work for what I'm about to talk about. So basically, today's video is just to announce I am kind of delaying the sequel to the Transformers DS video uh, because I'm working on a movie. I'm in a movie. Whoa, big revelation. And don't worry, it's nothing huge. I'm not being cast as like Eddie Brock in the MCU or anything like that. Although if I had been, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So maybe I have been. Maybe I have been and, and, and I'm lying. But no, seriously, I'm working on a short graduate film that I felt the time now is appropriate to talk about it because we're literally shooting on Monday. So here I am sitting here on Sunday, it's not Sunday, Saturday morning, uh, trying to work out how I'm gonna make this Decepticons video when I have to go to Wales to film a graduate short film. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the film itself. Uh, the film title is The Creature. I'm calling it The Creature because the actual title is this. And uh, that's a, a Welsh, word it's the welsh translation for the, the the word creature but i'm not going to pronounce it because every time i do it i get clowned on by welsh people for pronouncing it wrong it's a short horror film set in bangor wales if i am not mistaken the Creature is a horror short film carefully put together by a 12-person crew. The movie itself focuses on three characters, Eric, Luke, and Josh. The trio unknowingly step foot into hostile territory, finding themselves face-to-face -face with a wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm not going to pronounce it because I'm bad at pronouncing it, but the crew will pronounce it very bravely because they have a lot more confidence in saying that word than I do. So the story takes place in the Welsh mountain range, Snowdonia, where we follow three young males as they prepare for a relaxing night in. Unbeknownst to our trio is the presence of something with a tight grip on these lands, a force unknown waiting in the shadows. As the night turns awry, our party of three soon turns into a nightmare ball for four, where Luke, Josh and Eric will find themselves fighting for their lives against an enemy unseen. Something's hungry and they've just stepped into the feeding grounds. Now, on this project, my assigned roles are a production designer, prop maker, special effects. I'm doing quite a lot of things and I've done a little bit of research into what production designers actually do and they don't do everything that I've been doing on this project actually, as a matter of fact. Um, if you guys know the uh, Halloween 1978, who doesn't know Halloween 1978, the production designer for that film, uh, if I'm not mistaken, has gone on to say that when he did his role, he actually did a lot more than he expected to exactly like I'm doing. And apparently in uh, the, the professional world, in the actual world of filmmaking where you're on massive sets and you know, you're doing Doing all that fun stuff. You don't actually do all these roles, but of course we have to accommodate because we're a 12 person crew. <clears throat> now these people I'm working with are also extremely talented. Um, I'm not going to go into their roles specifically because that's not my place to talk about. They are very talented and they all have their own unique visions for their separate p uh, places on the project and I'm just very excited to work with them. Gonna be shooting from like early morning until midnight. <laughs> Probably, maybe, hopefully not, because that's like 12 plus hour work days all week next week. So now you're starting to understand why I'm having to postpone my YouTube video. <laughs> What's really exciting about this is not only am I uh, the prop maker, so I've made a lot of the props that we're using, but I also get to design and build the elusive creature itself. And not only that, but I get to play it. And that is one of the most exciting things for me because I have played monsters before. I've played Michael Myers in a horror maze. I did that in 2021. 
2021 Halloween. Uh, I put it on my Twitter account at the time. And this year I'm hoping to audition for a really big Halloween festival that happens here down south in uh, the UK. So uh, hopefully I can be a scare actor there and this movie will help with the resume for that as well as the other credits maybe will help me get other jobs in the film industry it's just a it's just a big amalgamation of credits um, i'm really excited to play the monster a uh, little fun spoiler alert but the whole idea is that you know we're trying to keep it elusive the word elusive is there for a reason you don't really get to see this monster too much however once the film is released i will show you the the mask that i will be wearing but i'm really excited to do it so when the film drops don't forget to look out for me in there because i will be in that movie i'm not the main uh, cast member by any means we have three talented actors who will be playing the main cast but I am the one who gets to try to kill them and uh, you get to find out whether or not I succeed so I felt like that was something I should share with you guys uh, you might be interested in what I'm doing you might not be fair enough if you just subscribe for the transformer videos feel free to not watch this at all but then again saying that you're probably this far into the video anyway so that's kind of redundant it's like 10 past 5 in the morning now give me a break I'm trying to formulate sentences and it's not really working too well like I said I would love to show you more in terms of what I've been working on for the project but I don't want to give anything away that they don't want me to give away I don't really have that much much authority over this project aside from deciding how the monster is going to look and everything else kind of like minor pieces on set how they're gonna look how certain props are gonna look I get to decide what the actors are wearing I had to do the wardrobe and costume and stuff like that so it's been a lot of work it's been a lot of pressure and a lot of stress but hopefully next week when we're shooting in Wales everything goes smoothly and you guys will get to see me in a movie which is really cool and I'm really excited for you guys to see the movie that we create and it's good for the resume but I have a real uh, I have a real interest for prop making and that's kind of new. I did it a little bit uh, a few years ago and I created uh, Billy the Puppet from Saw. I'll put a little video of him on screen right now. Um, I got to making a life-size Billy the Puppet and he never actually came to fruition, not in his entirety, but I did end up making the head with the uh, moving mouthpiece that was detachable. Um, so I sculpted him and painted him up. I would probably have a crack at it again sometime soon, uh, but yeah, I love making all this, all this stuff for movies. You know, I've been studying film for about six years now if, if I mean some of you guys might not know that but I've been studying that ever since I was 16 and I'm 21 now so uh, it has been a, a long long time studying um, film and this is kind of the amalgamation of that this is the biggest project I've ever worked on the budget is really big I think we have a budget of around 7,000 is what our crowdfunder eventually came to uh, if you do want to know any more information about the film um, and you don't want to hear it from my tired mouth you can uh, follow the Instagram page uh, the link will be in the description and you can check out everything on the Instagram page there although one thing to note I don't control the Instagram page so please don't send memes and stuff to the to the Instagram page because you guys do like to send me shit posts and memes and as well while I appreciate that very much I don't think they're, they're, the other crew members are gonna understand what you're doing anyways I thought I'd just kind of update you as to why I'm not gonna be making the Decepticons video next week I am uh, halfway done with the script for it but I need to do the playthrough of the game again because my memory needs refreshing and I also need to capture all the footage so it is gonna take me a little while to do all of that. Uh, you'll probably be surprised to know I made the first Decepticons video in one night. I, I, I woke up I think at like 3 a.m. to make it and I had it finished by around 11 a.m. So um, it, it, it was a you know, my body was on autopilot making that video so I'm trying to replicate that same work process by being awake at 5 a.m. in the morning hopefully it works and uh, the second video will be just as good as the first one and then obviously the second Autobots video anyways I'm rambling at this point just wanted to update you on what I'm doing and uh, I'm gonna be in a short horror movie so hope you guys did enjoy uh, again thank you so much for three 13, fuck, I'm so tired. 13,000 subscribers, it means the world to me. Uh, and this is all thanks to an old Transformers video game. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a win. Uh, what, uh, shit. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night or morning. I'm probably going to go to bed soon after I get some more of this script done. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.